desert's actually in now. Look at that. Oh, dude, the wall is gone. Wow, we logged off in the best place ever. Yeah, because that was a huge wall. Or that used to be more on top. Oh, there it is over there now. Oh, dang, everything's rendered in. Oh, sick. And we got a bunch of toucans in front of us. Woo! Daniel, don't kill them. Don't kill them. Don't. Don't kill them. They're looking at me now. Oh boy, they're giving me the funny look. Hey, our volume's good over there, right? I think it's all maxed out, right? Yeah. Ah! Oh, fuck! Dana, why? Oh, I scared you the You scared the toucans away! I can't oh, even how taste them. could you do that? Hey, what? Never mind. Uh, oh, he's back. Um, okay, yeah, what do we want to start out with? Let's go! Free Kali. Always a good thing. So now anyone that plays the game and progresses through... <gasps> that gives me free that. Oh, that's fantastic. What?! Are you kidding me? Oh, I didn't know that's how it worked. Oh, that's beautiful. I will. Ready. Let's go. That's amazing. Always take free money. Okay, we got the new. That art is so nice. That art is so nice. Character quest. Place, okay. New boss. By the way, because I was so conflicted on pulling for Sino, uh, there have been leaks now for Kusanali. And I did look into them because I, I look, I usually don't, but I, ha I wow. wanted to because I wasn't <laughs> oh, sure. Um, I think I'm going to save for for Kusanali. I think it's an Archon for crying out loud. It's, I still want to test this guy out. Yeah, I this guy looks so good, but I need a Dendro character badly. Uh, Sino's elemental skill causes him to advance at high speeds, dealing electro damage to opponents along his path. His elemental burst causes him to enter the Pax Worn Path Clearer state. <sighs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> uh, which uh, changes his attack style and converts his normal and charge attacks to electro damage. In this state, uh, using an elemental skill will uh, cause that will cause the deal AOE electro damage and extend the duration of- Oh! Makes it go longer. You can use, um, it, your skill will extend the duration twice. After that, it's just damage. When he's in this state, you can uh, use his elemental skill to match a certain visual cue to trigger uh, the judication effect, which will cause the damage dealt by his elemental skill to increase and fire off three dusk stalker bolts that deal electro damage. Additional elemental orbs will drop during the- Okay, same bit there, but that's interesting. He's also a rhythm character. They do try to like Look at those Ooh. autos, they're so nice. Ah! Oh, that is- That is such a nice attack animation. Like, what the heck, guys? Mm. What, what even? Rather basic what idle even? animations, though. But that makes sense. Okay, what we got? Slimes. Oh. Oh, that does just attack increase my attack speed. Steadiest. Yeah, the, your team is really interesting, by the way, because it's mainly to give you like electro, like interaction. All right, now that that's up, let's try this. Through me, justice is served. Ah, that's so cool! Yeah, the grab oh. is sick. Oh, that's the visual cue. Okay, yes. I get you. Whoa. So yeah, it looks like the the dark stalker oh. things are like these claw things. I don't know how that works, but very oh, cool. Oh, that's sick. Okay, so now oh, you're out of it. Up? Yeah. So okay, it it, it your alt or oh, burst yes. goes for ten seconds, but by using the skill twice, it can extend it four seconds each. But after that, it doesn't extend it anymore. It can go up to a maximum of 18 seconds, and the cooldown is only 20 seconds. So, if you have a lot of energy recharge, you can almost always be in your burst form. It's really cool. Like, really, really cool. Oh, that feels nice. Yes. Oh, that feels nice. What about the charge attack? It's very sick. He oh. does. Okay, he does multiple attacks for the charge attack. I don't know how. Oh, dang. Oh. I don't know how many of those are gonna hit. I don't know, but that freaking feels cool. Okay, I will say this guy is probably gonna be really good for the Dendro Archon, especially if you want to go Electro Dendro. I feel okay. like this guy is gonna be very powerful. Is this cool, cool down? If I do this. Oh no, but it's practically up already. So that's what it's like normally. Oh, but you might as well just use it anyway, because the next time it comes up, it's just ready. Yep. I, I think uh, also, yeah, when you use your elemental skill in your, like, human form before you go in avatar form, the cat's climbing me. 
Um, I think it basically almost instantly gets reset. It, oh my goodness, it's basically just up again. Yep. As long as you just... Oh. The cat is climbing me at the moment. What is... Girl, hey! How much damage does that even do? Ooh, a lot, actually. Dude. Oh, actually. Look, you have little razor blade things on your hands. What? Actually, since... Since I'm here... Did you see that? You had, like, Wolverine claws. What are your, uh... Okay, cool. Oh, whoa, it picked back up. Yeah, ah, well. It looked like it was the same every time. The, the, uh... The idle animations are pretty much what you'd expect. Actually, wait, what's your normal visit? Yeah, okay. You're actually Nahida, aren't you? Paimon felt like Catherine was acting weird when we met at the Subzero's festival. Ah, uh, she was Nahida all along. Hmm. That makes sense, actually. And... Dinurazad, did you save her? I mean, we literally were just talking with her, Paimon. Unless it's a g g ghost But I don't think so. It's a really long story. We shouldn't disturb her. Her consciousness is still weakened. Wait! Is she a ghost? Let's chat somewhere else. Hmm... How about by the Traveler's favorite bench? <laughs> sure. We've sat there so many times. Decades have passed. Oh wait, talk to her. Sup, girl! What's going on? Why are you two so excited to see me? <laughs> Hasn't it only been a night? I mean, you know, that's what good friends do. They're excited to see each other. Oh, yeah. Totally, that's the reason. It's actually been much longer than that. Paimon, we're not supposed to tell her. Shh. Oh? Strange. Was I really asleep that long? No wonder I have such a headache. Ooh. Yeah, if you sleep that long, you usually do get one. Ugh. Headaches are nasty, man. Ugh. Uh, I don't think she'd have any more if we talked to her again, so... I guess... To our favorite bench! 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 Yes. To the bench. To the bench. Oh! Okay. Let's talk about Dinyar's on first. It's such a relief that she's alright. Yeah, I thought she was super dead. I, I honestly did as well. After we parted on the last day of the Subzerus Festival, I left the city and saw what the Traveler had described. Okay. Among the countless dreams, I found one that was growing fainter and fainter. This proved my suspicion. Once Dunyarzad could no longer bear the Akasha harvesting her dreams, her consciousness began to dissipate. But this also meant it escaped the Akasha's control. Oh, so she was just too weak. Mm. So she wasn't dead. She was just nearly dead. So if we had taken any longer, she, she would have been dead. Okay. I'm glad it conveniently worked out that way. Thank Such you, plot. This small fragment of consciousness can't last for very long, though. It will return to its original dream. Huh? Where both will gradually fade until they completely disappear. Mm. But she's good, right? I used all the power I had to keep her dying dream alive as long as possible. But it still wouldn't have lasted for much longer if it hadn't been for you two breaking the samsara. Oh, thank God. <sighs> okay. So it looks like we did manage to save Dinyarzad in the end. And not a moment too soon. A very happy ending. This is truly a miracle! I like both. I think a very happy ending. Huh? Why are you two smiling so happily? Because? I thought you'd be so moved that you'd start crying. Uh, I need to spend more time observing human emotions. <laughs> you need to get out more. Both are fine. Everyone reacts differently. Yeah. All right. You two must have a lot of other questions for me, right? Oh my. After all, you saved my faithful believer. As your reward, I will answer any and all questions. About what I saw in that dream at the Avidya Forest. Oh yeah, the giant flower. Mm -hmm. At the Avidya Forest, there was this incense that made the traveler fall unconscious and dream of a huge tree in a red sky. You also heard someone's voice, right? 
It said world and forget me. Yep. Oh, yeah? How do you know this? Yeah! Did you say so it? you do know! We've been wanting to ask you what that was about and if the red sky was related to Conria. Wait. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about that. Oh, not really. Okay, may maybe that's a thing. Hmm. It seems like the traveler established a connection to Erminsoul. That was a message left by Greater Lord Ruka Devata's residual consciousness in Erminsoul. Perhaps her last memory before she died. Well, flip. Hmm. As you two probably know, Greater Lord Ruka Devata disappeared after the disaster in Conria. The timings of these events do line up, so your suspicions are reasonable. So it was around that time, okay. A message from Greater Lord Ruka Devata? We thought it was from the Scarlet King! Or King... De... <laughs> oh, that's interesting! By the way... Okay, one, that adds fuel to the fire with your theory of them being maybe the same, or something. But then also, maybe Ruka Devata was involved with some of the corruption and whatnot that was going on around that time. Because, Alrighty. again, they're hinting that something went down again. Well, obviously something went down all those years ago, but still. The Scarlet King? That god who died even longer ago? Oh, maybe not. Uh, some present-day desert dwellers still worship him. Um. You probably just heard some of their conspiracies. Okay, I, I would I would agree with this, but 3.1's story kind of is all about that, so... Okay, so what does the message mean? I, I don't think he's going to be dead much longer. <sighs> I still haven't managed to decipher it. Even the Akasha isn't currently capable of doing that. Oh. Greater Lord Ruka Devata's residual consciousness in Ermansoul seems to be contaminated with something that has a very dangerous aura to it. Hmm. What? Is that Scarlet King or something else? Or is it Scaramouche? Scar, Scaramouche. Many devoted scholars go mad as soon as <sighs> they connect their consciousness. I've warned the academia about this many times, but people still keep falling victim to it. Hmm. Oh yeah, remember we met that one guy that's like, I'm totally willing to go crazy if I get to do that. Like, what? Oh, no, no, the girl. The girl. Hmm. Uh, hmm, okay. But I believe this is the key to saving Ermansoul. That's why I've kept trying to decipher it. So the tree in the vision was Ermansoul? Oh, Tainari also said that Ermansoul is sick. Is it because of the contaminated consciousness? Huh. I... what? The flip? But even if you can't figure out what that vision was all about, it seems like our search for you was all in vain. Uh, not really. No, no, yeah, whoa. The traveler wasn't affected after coming in contact with that consciousness. I've never seen anyone like that. With you here, we may have a chance at deciphering it. Oh, and that capsule was taken away from us. <sighs> Guess we'll have to go find that. We're probably gonna need to find the dude. No, we must decipher its secrets. I've already eliminated all other factors that might affect Ermansoul. This is the only one left. Oh, that's very bad if this is the only option mm. left. Okay, well, uh, okay. This puzzle has life and death at stake. It could determine Ermansoul's fate as well as to that. Yeah, I was about to say, actually, doesn't that mean the world's in danger? Why do you look like Catherine? Yeah, why do you look like Catherine? To be accurate, I'm using the Akasha as a medium to occupy Catherine's consciousness. <laughs> Poor Catherine! Hmm. Cool! Uh, how did you do that? Poor Catherine. Uh, does this mean you can also occupy other people's consciousnesses? Um. <clears throat> cool, can you take over some of those old farts? <laughs> Theoretically, I can enter anyone's mind as long as they're wearing their Akasha terminal. Cool. Nice. Huh? <laughs> the Akasha is the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. As Lesser Lord Kusanali and the first Akasha terminal, my hmm? consciousness has always been linked to the Akasha. When you run back to the first Akasha terminal, they turned you into a what? What? So, we we were correct. She is the Akasha, in a way. Huh. 
I've always respected my people's free will, so I've never actually occupied their consciousness. That's good. When necessary, I just borrow this bionic Snezhnayan puppet. Wait, Catherine's from Snezhnaya? Huh? I never... Was that a... Was that already... Did we know that? I don't think we knew that. So is that why there's a keyhole? I mean, obviously she was a robot. Yeah, I mean, because air in beep boop and like all the other stuff, but like... And also she has a giant keyhole in the back of her body. Yeah, so... Is Catherine going to play a big part in the story coming going forward? Potentially. Uh, oh, hold on. Did we just learn some deep, dark secret? So Catherine is... No wonder Paimon felt something was off about her. I mean, her. Catherine's pretty cool. I don't think there's anything wrong with her. Mm -hmm. What about your own body? Why do you need to borrow other people's? Don't you live in the sanctuary of Suristana? Good point. That story begins a long time ago. After Greater Lord Ruka Devata disappeared, the sages found my newly born self and took me back to Sumeru. Right. At that time, I was young and weak. The sages kept me in the sanctuary of Suristana, ostensibly for the sake of protecting me. But I've hardly heard from them since. Hmm. Yo, the guys literally locked her up in like a tree and was like, goodbye. Well, oh, what great babysitters. Yeah, that I actually had a babysitter like that when I was a small wee child. That was totally awesome. That was not sarcasm. However, I do understand that they had hoped to find greater Lord Ruka Devata instead of me, a symbol of her passing. Huh. <sighs> Okay. Interesting. I still don't know. Does that mean you're Ruka Devata or are you your own person? I think she's her own person. Okay. So the sages basically put their new Archon under house arrest? How dare they? Why don't you teach them a lesson, Nahida? Actually, I also wonder this. In some ways, they aren't wrong. Greater Lord Ruka Devata was omniscient and omnipotent. Even after her death, the Akasha is still empowering this nation. But what do you- what? And I... I'm still really far away from being able to call myself the God of Wisdom. Moreover, the Academia is also more proficient at governing this country. My I mean, you're still a- you're mean. still an Archon. An excellent one. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. But, and, and you're not going to learn... Okay, so if you're feeling like you're... I, I, if you're undervaluing yourself and you're thinking like, oh man, I'm not wise enough to be the Archon, then why not go out and see the world? Learn everything, you know? Oh, uh, she can't. That's the thing! She's, She's locked up! locked inside a building. So get out! <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of believers. Just look at the sub -Zero's Festival... Everyone who showed up truly loves you. Aw. Aw, wholesomeness. <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. But I honestly don't need physical freedom as long as I can connect my consciousness to the Akasha. I guess that makes sense, but yikes. Trying to find a way to save Ermin Soul is my life's mission and top priority. I will work on that and try to live up to being a deity in the meantime. Ah, uh, that's why I guess we don't get to play as her until next patch. Okay, she's gotcha. got, she's got, she's got to break out of her shell. She's got to bloom, like a beautiful flower that she is. I mean, first she has to save the world, right? Every once in a while, I will also take up the duties of the God of Wisdom and enlighten a lost soul here and there. Doing all that should be enough. About the sage's plan. There has never been any big problems with the Academia's governance of Sumeru. This is the first time I've seen them step out of line. Yeah, that was a pretty big step, admittedly. I've never seen them do anything wrong, except this once. Uh, you know, when they almost killed their entire kingdom and used them to harvest, uh, knowledge. <clears throat> it's a pretty big misstep. It's like they picked up their shoes and threw it. <laughs> I wonder what caused them to go down this path, and what they hope to achieve. Again, it has to be the Harbinger. Probably. Even though the city's residents haven't noticed anything strange, if the Traveler hadn't broken the Subzerus Samsara, the
the situation could have become dire. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just some corrupt people in here, because be honest, every country we went to, yes, there's bad people, but it's more of people being manipulated by the Shneznaya. Yeah, it a hasn't lot really of been an evil country or evil people in the countries, other than people that are either manipulated or like kind of evil, but not really the source of it. Yeah, because like the Ryan Shogun was like, she was in the wrong, but she wasn't evil, I wouldn't say. Yeah. Like, she just kind of was stuck on some things in the past. Li quite literally. And even the corrupt people that were uh, manipulating her, quote-unquote, were just also being manipulated by the Shnez Nine guys. Yeah, so basically, Shnez Nine is like the bad guy. I would like some evil other than just Shnez Nine and the Abyss. I'd like just some th corrupt people. That's probably what we're going to get this patch with Scarlet King, I'm guessing. Probably. Most likely. Unless it's Nine. Maybe it's Shnez Nine as well, for honest, all I know. We've seen, he, seems more le le he seems less like a Scarlet King and more like a machine god. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Hmm. I tried to do some investigating in the Akasha, but I couldn't find anything suspicious. And all the people of interest seem to purposely avoid wearing their Akasha terminals. Really? Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. I think they're deliberately trying to hide something. So we need to find one of the old farts, punch him in the gut, and then slap one in the ear. Yes. Is what you're saying. Yeah, that actually sounds like a great idea. I'm going to be honest. Awesome. Yeah, for once, I'm with you on your blunt force plan. Oh, that reminds Paimon. In Gundarvaville, there was a sage who had invited Kainari to join some kind of project. Could it be related? Hmm. Wow, Tainari would actually beat up everyone if he heard them talk about yeah, this. I don't think Tainari would be cool about this. Regardless, or cool with this. I need to first investigate the sage's motives, make things right, and punish them if needed. <sighs> but I'll have to be discreet, or they'll see me coming. Has no one realized the issue with the Akasha? I, apparently not. You mean how the Akasha stops you from having dreams? Yeah, no one's like put two and two together. Does no one take it out when they sleep? I feel like that would be really uncomfortable when you're sleeping. I would do that. Yeah, I would not leave that in. Yeah, it's been such a long time. No one's noticed something's up? It's not that no one noticed. It's more like no one cared. Um. Ultimately, it's all rooted in the sage's misdirection. I'm gonna be honest, if I stopped dreaming and I would just like fall asleep every night but like be fully aware of what's going on around me constantly and then wake up and be like, I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be going crazy. Someone's going to die tonight. I'd be like, what in the flip? Misdirection? The sage has convinced everyone to believe that being unable to dream is a sign of rationality and wisdom. Not dreaming is a badge of honor in Sumeru. That's kind of cringe. That is. Even if the truth is that their dreams are being reaped by the Akasha. Ugh. It's kind of cringe. It is. In place, the sages can maximize their use of the Akasha to facilitate their research. I feel like that's already stepping out of line. I kind of, yeah. Do you want to stop this, maybe? Besides, Greater Lord Ruka Devata must have created the Akasha in the hopes that it could be used to its full potential. That's why I've never come out strongly. Well, you're just assuming that. Yeah, that's a big assumption. You really have, you'd have to make sure. Anyway, the perspective advocated by the sages drowned out any voices of doubt. Got it. Hmm. Huh. By now, even those who never use Akasha terminals find it too shameful and embarrassing to talk about their dreams. What the flip? That sounds so messed up! Ah, uh, well, that's all the questions. I guess we're done! I don't have any more questions. Got it! I hope my answers were satisfactory, seekers of knowledge. I'm gonna be honest, it's just Thanks. left me with more questions. That's which questions usually like, do. When are we getting Catherine as a playable character? <laughs> That's does she have sword and or gun arms? Yo, that'd be sick. <laughs> just wondering. To be honest, maintaining Dunyarzad's fading dream took a lot of mental energy. I think I may need to rest for a while. Oh. Oh. And you don't need to worry too much about the Sage's activities for now. The Akasha won't be able to conduct another project on the scale of the Subzeru Samsara in the immediate future. No, but we just have a bunch of corrupt old men running the government. Great. Perfect. 
how how I like it. Totally. Go huh. and get some sleep. Leave everything to us. Yeah, we're gonna beat the crap out of some old men. Mm. <laughs> what a relief. This is truly the most exhausting birthday I've ever had. Aww. I just realized, in the dream, the ones that interrupt the festival are just puppets and not actually them, which means they programmed it to rob them of the festival every time. Yes. They're jerks. Wow. What a bunch of tools. Could have at least let everyone party. Yeah, come on, if they're going to have a dream, let it be a good dream. If you're literally robbing them of their dreams, let them have a good dream. Seriously. The poor peeps. Oh. Traveler? Paimon? Why am I here? Do either of you know? Uh, hey, welcome back. I? Uh, maybe you were sleepwalking. You know you can't wake up a sleepwalker. We, uh, we happened to walk by, so we thought we'd wait for you to wake up. I mean, technically not a lie. Technically? Not technically. I see. Huh. I should visit my maintenance personnel sometime. Oh, I'm fine. I better go. Thank you. Hmm. Huh. Good goodbye. Okay, see you later. Welp. We spent quite some time in ah. Tamaru City, but ever since we last said goodbye to Lesser Lord Kusanali, we haven't heard anything from her. Oh. We Wait, can't just anyways. keep waiting around like this. Let's go find Catherine and pick up some work so we can at least keep ourselves busy. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so we unlocked two new quests, actually. Do my daily. So, like a triumphant hero, which is Dr. That's Catherine. That's the main quest. Hello there, Catherine. Are you ready Stop for this? I, I hate to say this, but you may be dying this patch. I don't know what's happening with all wow, that. Rude. I don't want her to die. I hope she doesn't. Oh, Toucan. Ad Astra Avisosk. Ad Astra Avisosk. Hello. Hi, Catherine. Do you have any commissions for us today? Commissions, huh? Hmm. Let me think. Oh, how about this? Please attend the Academia's Academic Symposium this afternoon and recite a love poem on stage. I'm going to pass on that. Don't mind me. <laughs> so they're against dreams and theatrics, but are totally okay with love poems. Also, there's a music disc over there. Oh, you're right. Uh, wait, say what now? <laughs> and if possible, please also use your camera to capture the reaction of the audience upon finishing the poem. That would be really difficult. Imagine if someone's reciting a poem and they're like, oh, and everyone say cheese. <laughs> huh? What kind of commission is that? I feel embarrassed just imagining it. Uh, yeah, yeah. The audience would definitely have a um, reaction. I feel embarrassed just imagining it, honestly. I see. It appears that you're not interested in this commission. Yeah, no, no. Mm, sadly not. Not for me. In that case, please go to Port Armos and convince the Aramites there to spend some time volunteering at the local orphanage. <laughs> what are these commissions? Hey, that's not any better. I mean, th th that's better. Is that just asking for a beating? Basically, uh, mercenaries and orphanages really don't go together. Uh, not always. Uh, yeah, sometimes some rough guys are really like just soft teddy bears. So, they, or or women as well. Mm-hmm. I'm sure the mercenaries will have some interesting reactions as well. Well, then you're what, Catherine? What are you asking us to do then? We don't want to die. Uh, I mean, we wouldn't die, I was but you know. Gonna ask, just who exactly has been submitting these commissions to the Adventurers Guild? Oh. The commissioner? Hmm. Well, actually, I just wanted to see the two of you in action. Okay, it's Nahida. You're I, not I, actually Catherine, are you? <sighs> <laughs> Was it so obvious? I was hoping you would actually take one of those commissions. That kind of chance to observe humans doesn't come by often. What? I, t t go up on the stage and go, here's my love story. Ah. Jesus! Everyone goes. <laughs> Everyone just cringes, and I cringe as we do it. I would cringe so hard. Ah, Take a selfie, so then. it's Nahida. I'm just knew Catherine wouldn't crack those kinds of jokes. 
When did you get she into does your head? My mom. Yeah, I was about to say, Catherine actually does. Hmm, from when she said, add Astra out of Sosk? Nice. So it's been you this whole time? I mean, not the whole time, but almost the whole time. Uh, are you done resting up, Nahida? <laughs> yes. I've been sleeping ever since we parted ways, and I even had a really, really long dream. Yeah, that's been like five minutes. So the Akasha can't take away the dreams of gods. What did you dream about? Yeah, what did you dream about? It was another dream about the Subzerus Festival, except it was a happy one. Aw, nice. In my dream, I was sitting in the middle of a flower terrace, and everyone in Sumeru City was holding hands as they danced in circles around me. They danced round and round, and everyone looked really happy. I also got to sit on a gigantic flower carriage. Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, raised me really, really high above Aww. the ground. And I was throwing an endless amount of Yalda candies at the children. I really hope Aww. this is the ending, the Sumeru. I, that would be great. You know, Nahida, maybe your dream is how the Subzerus Festival really should be. It's meant to be a joyous time where everyone gets together to celebrate your birthday. Yeah, but in reality... But your old farts. Huh? Yeah. Wasn't I describing a really happy dream? Why are you both looking at me like that? Wait, could this be an example of the emotion known as pity? And sadness. Pity and sadness. Potentially. Potentially. No, no! We are pitying you! That would only make everything worse. We just don't want you to feel too sad. Yeah, I'd say that's more accurate. By the way, have you had a chance to visit Dunyarzad? How's she doing? The Homiyanis haven't allowed any visitors after the festival, so we haven't been able to check on her. Yo, if she says, oh, she died, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna walk up and leave. I'm just gonna be out. Yes, I paid her a visit right after I woke up. She was resting at the time. Thank God. I don't have to leave now. Because <laughs> I was seriously gonna get up and just walk away for the uh, solid oh, 30 minutes. She's like, oh, she's dead. Oh, oh goodbye. <laughs> she had a good last dream. Oh! Daniel, oh! Her condition is stabilized. However, since Elazar is a manifestation of the withering on the human body, we can only cure it by finding a way to take care of Ermansalt's own withering. Mm, got it. I got you. But for the moment, our top focus should still be figuring out what the sages are up to and what they're planning. Right. Who knows what'll happen if they manage to pull off another scheme like the Samsara of the Subzerus Festival. So our first priority should be investigating and putting a stop to the Sage's activities. As for how we should pull that oh, off, hello, person. let's discuss it <laughs> somewhere hello. else. There are too many adventurers around here. Yeah. Considering we're talking about overthrowing the current ruling government, I feel like this may be not be the best Woo! place. Let's go. Revolution! In game. Yeah. Government. Oh, good point. Uh, sorry, adventurers. We're going to be borrowing Catherine for a little while. Uh, Paimon, nice that's a mischievous look. That is a very mischievous Paimon. 